This February, it's all about love. We're coming off Valentine's Day, and Sherry Lowe, the Queen of Free, explains the five very important conversations to have with your spouse that aren't as fun or cutesy, <laughs> but they are necessary. So you stay married, right? Exactly, <laughs> yes. So, you know, I, I love to have these types of conversations outside of conflict so that we can have an open and honest dialogue that helps us understand each other a little bit better. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, first, first question, first conversation, how was money handled in your family? Yeah, so in your family of origin, who was it that did the spending primarily? Who was it that tracked the finances? Um, was it something you talked about as a family? Was it something you didn't talk about as a family? This can be super helpful when it comes to explaining why we develop the habits we have. And this probably really has to make you think, what's the first purchase that you remember making? Yeah, this is a super fun question, yeah. right? It doesn't have to be like stressful at all. I definitely remember being in Kmart as a kid with my change in a Sucrets box. That <laughs> dates me how old I am. But you know, making that first purchase can be a really interesting discussion with your significant other. What's your financial dream? I love this. Dreams motivate us. They help us reach toward the future. Having a common shared dream is even more important. So as you begin to discuss that, it might be going on a vacation, it might be paying off debt, it could be all across the spectrum. No wrong answers. Yeah, and where or to whom would you like to give your money? Yeah, I think generosity is a powerful force in our lives. And when you can be generous together as a couple, it doubles that, right? So I think this is a great question to ask if we come into any money, who would we like to give to? Yeah, and this is not a fun one, but obviously an important <laughs> one talking about how much debt you have probably sooner rather than later, right? Yes, definitely. And I've encountered couples who had no idea that their significant other had a certain amount of debt, whether that was college debt or credit card debt. So just bringing that on the table with no condemnation, no judgment, we just need to know yeah. how much debt do we have and what can we do about that. Yeah, and obviously you wrote a book about it. So yeah. more information on WTHR.com and Queen of Free. Dot net. Sherry Lowe, Queen of Free, as always, we thank you for stopping by, and we'll be right back.